वेलकम टू स्टडी हाई डॉट पी के टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आवर सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू बायोलॉजी लेवल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द मोस्ट बेसिक वन लाइक सब अटोमिक लेवल सब अटोमिक एटम्स हाइड्रोजन इज एन एटम इट इज मेड अप ऑफ वन प्रोटीन प्रोटोन दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन न्यूक्लियस and electron that is revolving around it so these electrons and protons are called the subatomic particles because they involve in formation of an atom similarly hyd oxygen consists of are made up of eight protons and eight neutrons that are present inside the nucleus and eight electrons that are revolving around this nucleus so these electrons and protons are the subatomic particles that make different atoms similarly if i talk about carbon carbon also made up of six proton six neutron and electrons that are revolving around the nucleus so these electron and proton and their different numbers determines the specific atom so the atoms that are made up of electrons and protons can be different and the different atoms only depend upon the number of subatomic particles like electrons and protons so these subatomic particles have the more or the most specific ones if there are no subatomic particles there will be no atoms no elements no molecules no cells no organisms so let's start a different numbers of hydrogen atoms like hydrogen element hydrogen element consist of hydrogen atoms and oxygen element consist of oxygen atoms and carbon element has same kinds of carbon atoms but these atoms that are present in hydrogen element oxygen cannot live independently they are mostly present in the form of molecules and at and compounds etc like when two hydrogen atoms two atoms of hydrogen combine with one atom of oxygen they will make one molecule of water similarly when six carbon atoms 12 hydrogen atoms and six oxygen atoms combine in a specific way they will give rise to a formation of a molecule called glucose in the same way the different arrangement of these atoms will results in formation of different molecules like amino acids which are the building blocks of proteins that are present in your muscles in your body cells every part of the body contain proteins they are made up of this basic unit amino acid and this is also made up of oxygen carbon nitrogen so just the arrangement of these atoms in different way give rise to the different molecules and that play a different role inside your body so this subatomic particle this is an atomic level subatomic level the most basic one this is atom level that involve in formation of elements and this we have already studied is called molecular level of organization no from molecular level no we are moving forward towards the organelle level first of all you all you must know what are the fatty acids these are the fat formula this is a formula of fatty acids it consists of one carbon three hydrogen and this is the arrangement of fatty acids what they do they give rise to a very special after combining with a large number of fatty acids when they combine together they give rise to a formation of a very important component of cell called cell membrane this cell membrane all membrane also contain other molecules like proteins some in small quantity and lipids etc but the major component of the cell membrane is fatty acids or lipids 
द टाइप ऑफ फैटी एसिड डेट इज प्रेजेंट इन सेल मेब्रेन इज कॉल्ड फॉस्फोलिपिड पर यू जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया डेट वट टाइप ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल हैज अ मेजर रोल इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन दीज अमाइनो एसिड विल इन्वॉल्व इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स लाइक डेट आर प्रेजेंट इन योर मसल्स बाईसेप्स ट्राइसेप्स जस्ट एज्यूम दिस इज अर प्रोटीन्स एंड अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटीन इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन सेल मेम्ब्रेन एंड एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द सेल ग्लूकोज आफ्टर कम्बाइनिंग विद अ नंबर ऑफ अदर ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल कैन गिव राइज टू अ स्टॉक डेट इज प्रेजेंट इन ब्रेड एंड मैनी अदर थिंग्स डेट आर डेट मेर मेड अप ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स सिंपली पोलीमर्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज सो सो दीज आर द सम मॉलिक्यूल्स नो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हो फ्राम दीज मॉलिक्यूल डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर्म सो दिस इज अ सेल मेम्ब्रेन and one other component this just assume this is a nucleus of the cell it consists of genes and genetic material and that control all the activities of the cell like this is a major control center or like a brain of a human if you have no brain no activities so this is a brain nucleus that consists of chromosomes genes and control all the activities and this genetic material also inherited into the daughters and sons from the parents so this is nucleus this is cell membrane nucleus it is also made up of these elements by different arrangements by the polymerization of nucleotide like amino acid nucleotide is also a polymer of nucleotide is a single brick that can help in formation of a complete wall so like these amino acids after combining with many other amino acids can result in formation of proteins in the same way all the molecules form and this is nucleus no i am going to create an other organelle just assume this is another organelle called mitochondria so different organelles that form from these molecules have different functions like cell membrane protect these inner structures from the different harmful from different harmful things like osmolarity do not let every diff particle to enter into the cell nucleus control all the activities have a special role in formation of proteins and mitochondria is called power house of cell it generates atp called energy energy producing it is atp the currency energy currency that is used in cell like dollar is used in uk rupees in pakistan and different things so when all these organelles are present inside a single cell that is surrounded by a membrane then it is called a cell level like this is nucleus and mitochondria and in the same way other organelles like ribosomes ribosomes also called the an a protein factory of the cell so this is a cell no there are different types of cells that have different functions no we are going to discuss tissue level like just assume this is a cell this is an other cell one more one more all these cells have a special ability and what is this they can contract so as these cells contract and they combine with each other they decide that rather than contracting alone and alone we should combine and produce a combined effect so the combination of all these cells surrounded by a membrane that have similar functions can produce a tissue so tissue is a group of cells that have the similar function like this is a man american this is indian and this is pakistani but these three people have different origin of countries but they can perform the same function in a same factory so this can be called a group of people have the same function a tissue but tissue we use this we cannot they call these people are tissues a group similarly tissue is a group of cells that perform the same function similarly this is another group of cells 
and these cells can secrete enzymes some particles that can digest this piece of meat or proteins so similarly the group of cells that can secrete that can perform some specific function that is similar for all the cells can be called as tissue like this cell is in the form of a gland and involved in secretion can be called a glandular tissue whereas the other cell the in this tissue which involved in contraction can be called as muscular tissue and there are number of other tissues that have similar functions like this is the human the sodium and in its brain and brain is interacting with different parts of a body through a specific type of tissues called nervous tissue that is made up of neurons nervous tissue made up of neurons neurons also a specific type of cells but they have different structure like this one and some dendrites and axons in this way so that's why these cells form nervous system these cells who have ability of contraction form the muscular tissue nervous tissue muscular tissue and those cells that have the ability to perform the digestion process or secretions can form glandular tissue no i am going to discuss the organ level or at organ level the tissues that have different functions when organized into a specific group they form an organ like an organ can consist of two types of tissues it may consist of a muscular tissue and also contain glandular tissues so organelle level or organ can consist two or different types of tissues that are working together to perform a specific function like just assume this is your stomach this is your stomach and its inner layer consists of glandular cells that secretes hormones enzymes into inside the stomach to digest proteins or to hcl hydrochloric acid to kill the free organisms at the same time this our stomach wall consists of some muscular tissues that can contract and because of these contraction our food can move towards this pyloric region end of the stomach portion and then enter into small intestine large intestine and out of the body with as feces through our anus so our stomach is an organ because at the same time it consists of two types of tissues glandular tissues that involve in secretion of hormones and muscular tissue that involve in contractions when these contract food move forward so organ level no i am going to discuss organ system level digestive system like digestion and secretion excretion excretion excretory system is another system digestive system is one of the system major system of human body similarly other organ system is respiratory system but no we are going to i am show to how our different organs when combine or work together to perform a specific function they form a organ system like in digestive system our mouth can perform the process of mastication digestion through salivary enzymes that are present in below the tongue in in front of the ear some glands are present so some sub a little digestion also started at the mouth level then pharynx esophagus when food passes through these structures they are all are the parts of digestive system then what will happen inside the stomach there is killing of some free and organ free and organism the microorganisms and further digestion of proteins happens some muscular contraction so this is an other organ which is a small part of this digestive system and then small intestine this is small in intestine a large number of absorption digestion happens here digestion of carbohydrates like starch i have discussed which is a polymer of glucose proteins lipids 
so this is an other organ a large amount of absorption also occurs here large intestine anus so two three organs involved in formation of organ system this is the respiratory system it consists of trachea and further bronchi and then bronchi divide into lungs lungs trachea and nostrils all these structures involved in the formation of the respiratory system and if we see what is happening inside the lungs there may be there will be alveoli inside the alveoli there will be capillaries blood capillaries that involve in for exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide so this whole is our respiratory system in which lungs trachea our nostrils all these structures involved in formation of this respiratory system and further some muscles that are present among the ribs that are called intercostal muscles and diaphragm so all these structures help in performing some specific function and what is function of the respiratory system exchange of gases with the environment getting oxygen inside and carbon dioxide outside so after these organ systems we have created a human being from sub um, atomic particle so what this human be to individual that consists of organs organ systems and performing digestion respiration and interacting with these body parts it also interact with other people that are also present in the community and this forms a population level and studying of the relations among different organisms we will study at population level and at community level we say what different societies doing each other in relation with the environment biosphere level and this is all the simple thing that you can easily read from your book so what is the difficult that i have discussed with you people is who from subatomic particles different structures form role of these subatomic particles in formation of atoms and who atoms combine and form molecules from molecules different uh, different organelles organelles cell and different types of cells that have similar functions involved in formation of tissues and tissues combine to form organelles or at organelle consist of different types of tissues and from tissues organ system level and from organ system level complete organism an organism involved in interaction with its environment and we that we study at population level community level and uh, biosphere level etc thank you so much must give a like and subscribe thank you so much allah hafiz